Anions are negative ions, and some of them undergo hydrolysis when they are mixed with water. Here, we'll examine these more closely. We will start by getting familiar with the anions that do not hydrolyze. Anions that do not hydrolyze or undergo hydrolysis are the top five ions on the right side of the acid table. Remember, these are all strong acids. So these ions are the conjugate bases of strong acids. Even though these are on the base side of the table, they are too weak to remove protons from any species, including water. The single arrows pointing only to the right remind us that these reactions can only go in the forward direction. For example, HClO4 will readily lose a proton to form ClO4-. But ClO4- cannot gain a proton to form HClO4. A reaction with a single arrow on this table will not go in the opposite direction of the arrow. So these five anions have no acid-base reactions. So they do not react with water and are always neutral in aqueous solutions. Therefore, they are called spectator ions. At this point, you may ask, why isn't HSO4- a spectator ion? After all, its conjugate acid, H2SO4, is a strong acid. It's because HSO4- also appears in this location, on the left side of the table. That means it can act as a weak acid. So it is not a spectator ion. So the spectator ions are ClO4-, I-, Br-, Cl-, and NO3-. It would be useful to memorize these, or at least remember that they are the top five ions on the right side of the acid table. Now that we've seen which anions do not hydrolyze, we'll now look at the anions that do hydrolyze, or undergo hydrolysis. In this video, we'll deal only with the anions that are not amphiprotic. In other words, their formulas do not begin with an H. They are shown here. They're on the right side of the acid table. We'll deal with hydrolysis of amphiprotic anions in another video. All of these anions act as weak bases in water which means they all accept a proton from a water molecule. Here we'll show one of these hydrolyzing anions, carbonate, CO3-, and a water molecule. These two species will collide with each other. This hydrogen atom will donate one of its shared electrons to the oxygen atom in the water molecule and it will change to an H plus ion, or proton. Because this oxygen atom has gained an electron, it will acquire a negative charge. This proton is now transferred to the carbonate ion, as the water changes to an OH minus, or hydroxide ion. An electron from this oxygen will move toward the proton, so this negative charge disappears as the proton changes into a hydrogen atom. We now have the bicarbonate ion, HCO3-. These ions now move away from each other. Now we can write the equation for the hydrolysis of the carbonate ion. It is CO3-- plus H2O gives HCO3- minus plus OH-. Minus. In this video, we'll leave out the subscripts A, Q, and L for simplicity. Basically, this is just a proton transfer from a water molecule 
to the carbonate ion. Forming a bicarbonate ion, HCO3-, and a hydroxide ion, OH-. Looking on the right side of the acid table, we can find a few other non-amphiprotic anions that we can write hydrolysis equations for. None of these are able to donate a proton to water. They act only as bases, not as acids. So all of these can undergo only base hydrolysis. We'll now write the hydrolysis equations for these, starting with the nitrite ion, NO2-. We write down NO2- because it's hydrolysis, we add water. NO2- is a weak base, so it takes a proton from water. Forming its conjugate acid, HNO2, and a hydroxide ion. Next, we'll do the hydrolysis equation for F-. Being a weak base, F- reacts with water by taking a proton from it, producing its conjugate acid, HF, and a hydroxide ion. Now we'll write an equation for the hydrolysis of the benzoate ion, C6H5COO-. We start by writing the C6H5COO-. Being a weak base, this also reacts with water and takes a proton from it. Forming its conjugate acid, C6H5COOH, and a hydroxide ion. Now we'll do the oxalate ion, C2O4-2-. C2O4-2- reacts with water, removing just one proton from it. In equations for hydrolysis reactions, we always remove only one proton at a time. The oxalate ion gains a proton to form the bine oxalate or hydrogen oxalate ion, HC2O4-. And water loses a proton to form a hydroxide ion. The last equation we'll do is the hydrolysis equation for the acetate or ethanoate ion, CH3COO-. CH3COO- hydrolyzes by removing a proton from water. To form its conjugate acid, CH3COOH, and a hydroxide ion. The anions here all undergo base hydrolysis, producing hydroxide ions. The formation of hydroxide ions in a solution tends to make the solution more basic. So now we've looked at some anions that do hydrolyze. And we must remember that anions that do not hydrolyze, these five spectator ions, are on the top right of the acid table.